Okay, so let's prepare my super high in protein and high in caffeine smoothie for those days in which you want lift heavy, train hard, long, whatever, but you want to give your all in the workout and then you also want to give your all at work or if you have to, if you're studying and you have to go to class and you maybe have an exam. Okay, so for those days, the smoothie that we're going to prepare is optimal since it makes you like recover from the workout pretty good and because of the caffeine that you're drinking right after the workout you're not going to have that down pick of energy so you're going to be able to be super focused at work or in class or at that exam or whatever i think it's super good smoothie but just for certain days and not to get used to it so let's go as simple as it seems let's start first things first protein protein something you can never forget about so we're going to make sure we start with the protein protein powder it's whey powder and I'm choosing chocolate. Sometimes I've done it with vanilla, but this time I'm making it with chocolate since I think it's quite good for the taste with the coffee. And another source of protein for this smoothie is going to be this kind of cream cheese, which is zero fat, high in protein. It has got 57 calories per 100 grams of product and 10 grams of protein. I think it's quite good and it gives it that like moisture. <laughs> That's the word that makes the smoothie like super. So let's go. Um, for the for the protein for the protein powder to blend well. We're going to add first, we're going to add first in the, in the mixing cup or however it is called, <laughs> the milk. Which kind of milk? Whichever you want. Sometimes I've used cow milk, not skim milk, but whole milk because I like it and I think it's super good. But for some people, like the digestion is not that good. However, whey powder is, is like, same as milk but well and sometimes like right now I'm starting to use mm, like oat milk or almond milk or soy milk just because nothing else than because of variety of foods like to make my diet more varied because I I eat cheese and stuff and that's milk so that I have like some soy intake in my diet or some almond intake or oats or whatever so this time I'm going to use soy milk zero sugar soy milk so let's start by adding the soy milk and then blending it with the whey protein powder so we're going to measure things so that you know the macros of the smoothie and that way you can make an idea since I think that's better for everyone so that you know that I'm not lying to you and that the macros are the exact thing I am telling you. So let's start by adding like more or less a glass of milk you've chosen, in this case soy milk. So like a glass would be like 200 250 milliliters right like more or less okay and now let's add the protein the now let's add the protein <laughs> the protein and um, the protein scoop of this protein powder super small so don't be afraid when you see me pouring down the this powder don't think it's too much because it's not well we're trying to put like 60 grams of this powder 
so that we are high in protein but not don't think I'm being like super extra because I'm not if you're if you're lifting heavy you should know that this is not too much like 60 grams of protein powder is not even two scoops two regular scoops so okay so 60 grams of protein powder this seems like like the chocolate powder with the milk of the breakfast when we were kids it is 34 no Okay, so that you can see. Okay, so now we've got our 60 grams of whey protein powder. I'm going to show you this isolate, like this, this protein powder is not like the most isolated. Okay, it's a good one, but I've found better ones. However, they don't change much in quality, so... It's not a big deal like it just changes some like couple ingredients and a little amount of protein okay so let's keep keep it up with our smoothie okay now we're going to blend the mix now we're going to add this um, cream cheese which is zero fat, high protein. And I normally pour on this really like one spoon. And I think it's more or less 100 grams, but well, I'm going to, to weigh it, to track it so that you can see the amount and we know the exact macros of this smoothie so that you know you've got the perfect details of the smoothie. So let's go with it. Okay, we've got here our blend, the cheese, and so let's mix it a little bit, a little, little, little bit. Now let's grab a spoon and let's do like this. I normally put more. I'll put some more for that creaminess and because of the amount of protein it has and so little calories it's super optimal okay let's let's put those 100 grams that we said more or less okay there we go now let's blend now that we've got all of our protein blended with the soy milk or whatever milk now we're going to go for the like sugars in in form of fruit banana is quite essential for this it's like the real deal because it's fruit with tons of sugars that's pretty good and blueberries too they have quite a lot of sugar and lots of properties and vitamins so this combination is also super tasty so we're going to put like a banana is like more or less less than 100 grams this is a small one so it will be like 80 70 grams something like that i will show you now and blueberries i may put like 100 grams so let's do it so let's go for the banana let's see how much it is let's peel the banana as it should be peeled i mean it's super little because it's from the canary islands because here in spain like the canary bananas are like, the best ones so let's put i normally put a bigger banana but well this will do see it's 70 grams 70 perfect and now let's put a i'm going to show you like i don't know if you can see the banana is floating over there now let's pour a hundred i think it will do well a hundred blueberries there 
Yes, because 800 is not that much. And vitamins should be taken into consideration. Look how gorgeous this looks. It looks like, like I really want to grab a spoon right now and put it in my mouth. Oh my god. I may do it. Like always in, when I'm in this step, it happens to me that I want to eat it with a spoon. Like mix it all up and eat it. Okay, so. Okay, look at this poison. No, it's not poison. It's a super good smoothie. Look at this thickness. And the color is like turning purple because of the blueberries mm, this blender is not very good as you can see but as i'm a person who likes to sometimes find in her smoothies i know it's strange but i like it I like certain pieces of food like that crunchiness and that, so i don't really mind i even like it so so now whey powder has been added Cream cheese, low fat, high protein has been added. Milk has been added. Banana has been added. Blueberries have been added. Now it's time for the carbs part. Mm, the carbs. I normally use oats or regular oats, like real oats, or this, which are instant oats, because they're like a smoother. But it doesn't mind. Like it doesn't, you can use whichever. Like I, I normally use regular oats and so this has apple and cinnamon flavor but you don't need any added flavor because you've already had chocolate flavor, banana and blueberries but it's just that this was going to pass out and I wanted to use it and I really like this flavor so in this case it's 30 grams of oats if I tell you the truth I normally put like double the amount of oats I put like 60 grams or even 70 grams mm, um, maybe you think I'm mad but it's what it is and it's not that much at least for me but well let's make it 30 this time so let's go for it well, I'm going to show you this is a, a brand Brotis is called and it's just oats with some flavoring doesn't have got many ingredients just three so it's very four it's very good it's got some cinnamon so quite tasty is going to be this smoothie so let's add the powder sometimes it's so thick that i have to eat it with a spoon and i'm not kidding okay so and sometimes i opt for adding water because it's too thick it smells quite good we added here look at the amount of smoothie we are having the smoothie is quite thick and the amount is quite <laughs> big like <laughs> quite a lot so if you find like it's very thick for you add some water or reduce the amount of something but I wouldn't if you if you train really hard and what well, later on when you drink it it's not doesn't feel like that much and we're not adding any kind of peanut or almond or something like that which makes it more of a bomb so this time we're not adding that sometimes I do add nuts this time I'm not so if you don't add nuts when you drink it, it's not, it's not that much. So now we're going to blend it again. And now it's when magic happens. <laughs> Since now it's the moment of adding coffee. We're going to add coffee, but not already prepared coffee, filtered coffee with the water and stuff. No, no, no. We're going to pour it like this. So, <laughs> um, again, don't think I'm mad. But like this, you're eating the grain. Like, when you do the coffee and you drink the coffee, it's filtered and you're getting the water in. It's like with the... It's, it's the same as this kind of milk. 
this kind of milks are the water that comes out from pressing the soy but it's not the same as eating the soy when you eat soy you're eating much more vitamins nutrients everything so if you eat the coffee you're going to have more of a <laughs> of a, um, an energy boost in terms of caffeine because you're you're having more like more caffeine intake than when you drink coffee and you are having like all the properties that you can take from like I don't know if I'll explain myself like when you eat coffee you're giving your body more properties than when you drink the water made out of filtered coffee and pressurized coffee so we're going to eat it <laughs> We're going to add just 10 grams of coffee and I promise this energy boost is incredible because if you search on the internet you'll find that 10 grams of coffee it has just very very few caffeine amount like in terms of in weighted in milligrams like measured in milligrams but that's because they're considering the drink like 10 milliliters of coffee but 10 grams of coffee eaten it's it's quite game changer I promise so let's go and again for you to see that I am not lying I'm going to show you okay so I've just opened the coffee natural one eight level of uh, intensity I promise the more I do this movie the more the more I like I really fall in love with it because at this point, when I'm preparing this smoothie, I always like think this, like when I'm going to add the coffee, I think, mm, oh my god, like how good it is to have the opportunity to drink this kind of thing. Okay, let's put, let's, let's put, no, 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 I said 10 grams, but I think I normally put like five or so yes normally I put five not ten I messed mess my head up it's five because I know that it's like this amount like I have to see it with my I have to see it with my eyes like how do you say like well it's, it's like this more or less this amount is like one spoon a big spoon this one I put like two like two of this because this is not a big one I normally put one spoon so it's not 10 grams it's five grams now we're going to blend it I first said it was 10 grams of coffee and no it's just five grams of coffee because I normally do it like the coffee I added like I put one spoon and I don't measure it so but now right now looking at it I thought like it was going to be like a spoon it was 10 grams but I found out that it's five grams so a, a big spoon I use right now a medium spoon that's why I added two but normally it's one spoon and and it's five grams not ten grams so don't add ten grams add just five grams because this is already a lot it smells it smells so freaking good it smells like the most creamy coffee things that they've got in Starbucks it smells it smells like that, oh my god. So now, oof, I'm addicted to this smell. Because imagine, it's like banana, blueberries, chocolate, milk, and coffee. It's This is incredible. So now this is the last blend and we've got it. So we've got our smoothie. This is almost one liter, it's 700 milliliters. It's a bit crazy, but it's super good. One thing I do sometimes is prepare it like as ice cream, and for that, what you have to do is like blend it even more, and then add it on a pan, long pan, into the freezer, and then you can eat it whenever you want. But you have to put it out of the freezer uh, half an hour, more or less, or even one hour before you're going to to eat it, and it's it's freaking incredible. So I hope you have enjoyed the receipt and recipe you say 
and that you use it whenever it's convenient to you and whenever you're going to hustle a little bit after your heavy lifts and if you have any doubt you can write it down in the comments if you want to reach me out you can do it like do not hesitate the least bit you can talk to me through instagram i am well i i wrote it down it's lemon funky fresh and my tiktok account is the same but with another h lemon funky fresh <laughs> and so yeah that will be it one last thing like and su subscribe <laughs> like and subscribe but just if you enjoyed the video if you liked it like if you really find it useful if you maybe you're going to do it to do the smoothie or recommend it or if you okay but if not if you don't didn't find it useful or you didn't like it don't do it i i completely understand and i don't want you to do it like i want you to like and su subscribe just if you really liked it and if you find it useful because i want to keep it real and if i'm doing stupid things that aren't useful um, that are just useful for me like things i use in my daily life and that i want to share for you to help but if they are not helping you then don't like and subscribe and and if you did like it and enjoy the video and you find it useful and you want to try it then i'm glad and i will upload more videos every kind like lots of types of fitness videos and well for me like by my side that's everything <laughs> bye <laughs>